Hi, this is Mike Elliott, and you're watching the CEO Live Investor Insight Series. We're joined today by Dr. Bassam Damaj, CEO of Innovus Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol INNV. Innovus is an emerging pharmaceutical company that delivers innovative and uniquely packaged healthcare solutions through both prescription medicines and consumer health products. Good afternoon, Dr. Damaj. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Mike. I'm happy to be here. So you became the CEO of Innovus in January of this year. Could you tell us about your past experience and maybe how it's prepared you to take this company to the next level? Sure, Mike. Um, as you know, before in August, I, I, I was the CEO of Abricus Biosciences, which is a NASDAQ company. And um, I, I learned a lot from, from my previous experience on how to turn around companies. Um, I, I was able at that company to turn it around from a market cap of 17 million to over 100 million and was able to approve actually a couple of drugs there and really turn around the company, uh, do a lot of commercial partnership with large pharma such as, you know, Abbott, uh, Novartis, Sandoz, Takeda, and others. So and prior to, to Apricus, I was the found co-founder and CEO of BioQuant, which also actually moved it to a profitable uh, contract research organization. So my experience uh, in starting company, turning around companies, uh, is well over 10, 10 years. And, and during that time, I have learned a lot what are the most important things to uh, to put out there, how to execute on a business plan, um, how to raise the proper uh, uh, funding for that, and, and which partners to bring in to commercialize the products. So I think my, my previous experience has poised me uh, 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 to be very well fit to turn around Innovus again and, and grow it to how we did with, with Africa's Biosciences. And what, what excites you the most right now about Innovus's product pipeline? What excites me about Yvonne Innovus is not, not just the pipeline, right? It's the, I'm, I'm very, very excited about the company itself. Innovus is a unique company because it is like a private company, but it's not. It, it's listed, publicly listed, but and it looks like a startup. So when I came on board, I, I really put in a business plan that the board approved, and that business plan was really to in-license or acquire commercial products uh, in, in really two big markets, the U.S. and the Middle East and North Africa, and then put those products on the market as soon as possible and start bringing revenues, move the company to a cash flow positive situation. And our ultimate goal in, in, in Innovus, and that excites me the most, is to list the company on NASDAQ. And this is, this, this is why I joined, uh, as a matter of fact, Innovus, is to be able to grow it, and, and, and listed on NASDAQ, and, and really um, uh, that, that, that is the type of, of companies that, that excite me. It is my comfort zone, and, and, and I do well in those type of situations. And kind of along that same line, how is Nova situated with regards to funding for the remainder of this year? I think we're doing pretty well on funding. Uh, if if uh, our investors and, and listeners will, will tune in to our last, uh, our 10K that we filed last week, that they will see that I actually am funding the company myself right now. I am so, uh, uh, I have so much confidence in, in, in the pipeline we, we are acquiring in the business plan and in the uh, short term, near term and long term future of the company that I invested my own money uh, to secure the funding of the company. We have enough money into Q1 2014. And with that funding that I provided to the company, actually, the, the our auditors removed the going concern from our um, last audit, which is a huge achievement for a company on our size not to have a going concern and have a commercial pipeline and, and really uh, be there uh, competing with the other larger uh, biotech and pharma companies. And um, how dominant would you say your market position is right now relative to any potential competition that's out there? Well, I mean, the, as you know, the pharmaceutical comp uh, market is very competitive. And what we have tried to do at Innovus is really to position ourselves in a very unique uh, uh, product, uh, our product that we are licensing. And I'll give you an example. We really specialize in dermatology, autoimmune, sexual dysfunction, and, and respiratory diseases. And what we have chosen to go after really are products that are uniquely packaged and presented for patients that will allow better patients compliance. And with better patients compliance, you have better patients results. An example of that are several of our, our products are actually in a kit format. A good example is, is our uh, uh, seborrheic dermatitis and atopic dermatitis uh, kits, uh, CORAS and, and, and Zetopic. 
where basically for a patient uh, for a topic dermatitis instead of taking a steroid, uh, the way we presented our product is that uh, the patient is presented first with a uh, wash and that actually uh, medicated wash uh, will remove all the dead skin and the stratum corium to allow the uh, uh, steroid tramcinolone to be able to have a better effect on the skin. And then we provide the patient in the same kit uh, a long lasting moisturizer in order to keep the skin moist and, and help reduce the itching along the way. That is just an example of some of the, the products we have and, and the way they're uniquely packaged and, and uniquely uh, differentiated presented to, to the market. So that's interesting, making them more user friendly and, and placing them in a, in a more comprehensive package that, that doesn't include just the, the medication itself, but also some, some preparatory material for it and then, and then some aftercare material all, all in one package. That is, that is unique. I've never seen that before. That is correct. And th th these are the things that excite me about yeah. our pipeline is, is that, you know, we were lucky to be able to, um, uh, to sign a binding term sheet for the acquisition of those products. And, and again, that, that brings back to my confidence in the company and to, to why I joined this company. These are type of products that it's not easy to get. We were able to get those. Uh, and, and definitely we see ourselves very well and uniquely uh, uh, positioned to succeed in this market. Dr. Maj, that's all the questions I had for today. Is there anything else that you'd like to add before we close? Uh, as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, you know, and I think it's important for, for our investors and, and for listeners to understand what, what Innovis is. So Innovis is really a, a small pharmaceutical company that was uh, um, created for the purpose of going into a commercial stage, um, generate revenues, and, and be cash flow positive and, and, and profitable as soon as, as, as possible. And again, and I would go back to saying our main goal really at Innovis right now, and it is a short-term goal for us, is to commercialize the products, to partner, to partner those with good partners, but also, and I would hope in 2014, and that's the, the goal we're working towards, is to list the company on, on NASDAQ. So it is really the time for investors to take a closer look at Innovis uh, and, 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 and come into the company uh, uh, and invest in Innovis. We're very excited about the opportunity, working hard toward achieving our goals uh, for this company. and and, and and again, we have put a very clear objective for us for 2013, 2014, and we're moving forward on the execution of those objectives one at a time. Dr. Dimash, thanks for taking the time to join us. Thank you, Mike, and happy to be here. We've been talking to Dr. Bassam Dimash. He's the CEO of Innovis Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol INNV. To find out more about Innovis, please visit their website at www.innovispharma.com. Thank you.